If you are new to the channel, do subscribe for latest updates. Hello techies, I welcome you all to Food Techno Buddy. I hope you all are doing well and taking good care of yourselves. Today in this session, we will be discussing about water in food systems. Now water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms which are covalently bonded to oxygen atom. We all know that water is electrically neutral molecule. But this structure is because of imbalance in charges, which means oxygen is more electronegative and hydrogen is more electropositive. As a result, hydrogen atom gets attracted to oxygen atom of another molecule. Now this picture clearly depicts how hydrogen atom gets attracted to oxygen atom of another molecule. Dotted lines in this picture represents the hydrogen bonding. Water molecules have the capacity to form maximum 4 hydrogen bonds with other molecules. Ability of water to form hydrogen bonds can be very much related with why it has high boiling point, high heat capacity, etc. The possible reason behind this could be some amount of extra energy is always needed in order to break these hydrogen bonds. Now coming on to the structure of water molecule, there are basically two theories. One is homogeneous and the other one is mixture model theory. Let's discuss them one by one. According to homogeneous theory, distribution of hydrogen bonds is uniform throughout the structure of water molecule. Whereas on the other hand, according to mixture model theory, it says the intermolecular hydrogen bonds are concentrated, that is, it exists in the form of cluster. Now among these two theories, mixture model theory is widely accepted. Now let's take a quick look at how amount of water can be measured in any food commodity. There are two ways, one is by either determining its water content or moisture content and another one is by determining its water activity. Now coming on to the water content or moisture content, about this mostly all of us know very well. So long story short, in food processing industries, it plays a very important role, such as in case if we have to monitor something or also while labeling of various food commodities. Whereas on the other hand, water activity is equally important. It is represented as A sub w it is related to microbial growth very helpful in determining stability of the product along with its safety it is important to study water activity because as free water content increases in any food chances of microbial attack on the food also increases now just for knowledge water activity of pure water is one now if you talk about the water content of various food commodities, fruit and vegetable contains 90% or even more than 90% water, whereas milk contains 87% water, meat contains nearly about 60-75% to water. Now since we are talking so much about water, let's take a quick look at what are the different types of water that is present in any food system. These are basically free water, bound water and entrapped water. Now to understand this better, let's take an example, say watermelon. When we apply force by cutting, juice comes out of it. Now what is this? This is the perfect example of free water present in any food commodity. So since now we know about the free water, let's take a look at what bound water looks like. When water molecules are binded with solute, then in that case, it will be called as bound water. Those water molecules which are free or slightly binded, they determine the water activity and support the growth of microorganisms. That is, microorganisms can utilize this free water for their growth and not the bounded ones. Now there are various stages in which water gets bound. There are basically four types, type 4, 
type 3, type 2 and type 1. Let's discuss these types one by one in detail. In type 4, water molecules are free which means it can easily be utilized by microorganisms for their growth which also means it is with full activity. In type 3, at this stage, water molecules are entrapped in tissue matrix which means it will also support the growth of microorganisms but slightly less than that of free water in case of type 4. Now coming on to the type 2, at this stage water is bounded in such a way that it does not support the growth of microorganisms but it permits enzymatic activity and non-enzymatic browning reactions to take place. Now coming on to type 1, water here is firmly bounded that is even more than that of type 2. Here oxidative rancidity can take place but again there is no chance of microbial growth. So many food components can bind with water, thus they cannot be removed easily. Basically bound water cannot act as solvent for salt or sugar. Reason behind this is, it has more structural bonding in comparison to free water. Now in the case of entrapped water, here what happens is, water molecule is binded to the active site of various molecules such as starch, protein, etc. But when we apply some external force, say when we cut the surface, then this behaves like a free water. It never behaves like a bound water. Till now, you all must be clear with what are the various forms of water that are present in any food commodity. But have you ever thought why water is known as universal solvent? Need not to worry techies, the reason is quite simple. Suppose when we add any ionic or polar molecule in water, it gets surrounded by water molecules. Here positive ionic compound is attracted towards oxygen atom whereas the negative ionic compounds are attracted towards the hydrogen atom. In this way, water helps dissociate ionic compounds into positive and negative ions. Now you all must be thinking then what happens to the non-polar molecule? Yes, you guessed it right. It does not dissolve, it stays together. It is because energetically it is more favorable for water molecule to form hydrogen bond with each other than to engage in van der Waal interaction with non-polar molecules. So the key is with this, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you all have enjoyed this session. If you want more such videos, keep watching Food Technobody, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video, till then, stay home, stay safe, take care, bye bye.